everybody thank you for watching uh, today we're going to do a short tutorial on a dinar face bow uh, Nikki, what, uh, what is a dinar face bow it's a instrument that's used to relate the maxilla to the condyles okay and can you tell me three indications adam for a, a face bow multiple units crowns and bridges mm -hmm. um two thread cases such mm -hmm. as for my rehab yeah um complete denture cases making um, Michigan splits and two-way cases as well is some of the uses. Okay, so for single units and normal day-to-day -day dentistry, we really don't need it. Then you're having more complex dentistry and you need to check anterior guidances and lateral excursions. That's the time when you really need to use a face bow so you can relate all the information to the technician, yeah? Okay, so this is a DNR face bow. So it consists of a bite fork, it consists of a jig, and it's got a bow. Okay, so with this, you need three points of reference. The one point of reference would be um, the bite fork. The second one would be in the ears. And the third one is a mark which we've already made. It's on his nose, but this distance is how much, uh, Adam? 43 millimeters from the lateral incisor. From the distal edge of the lateral incisor. So open wide from here to here. And that we've already marked with a, using a ruler. So um, this bit uh, goes between the two front teeth. It this goes between the two center lines. So uh, normally I use a stone bite. Um, so I just run that quickly across like that. And then um, I put that over the teeth. Open wide, like so. And I try and locate the center line in the center and I hold it there for it to set. Um, and then once it's set, um, Adam, can you hold Adam's going to help me with that. Okay, can I ask you to put your thumb, this one, just underneath the bite fork for me, where my finger is, and just hold it there. Okay, very good. Now, there's two numbers on, on the jig. It's very important that not both numbers face you when you're putting the face bow on the patient. Um, number two is where the bite fork goes. And remember, the bite fork has to come out on the right-hand side, okay? And the center line is between the two front teeth. And then the bite for, uh, the face bow comes in, like Adam's doing now, and it goes, don't put it straight into the ears first. Try and put your number one inside here. So you may need to just open those. Okay, so and then you put that in the ear like that. And then once this is in and you're happy that it's in the right place, you, you put your third foot and Adam keeps checking to make sure it's in the ears. You have your third point of reference ready, which will be here. Okay, so one is the ears, two is where the nose is, and the third one is the bite fork. Okay, so once you're happy that you're everywhere is certain and all your teeth are sitting on the bite fork in your stone bite, you tighten number one and you tighten number two. Okay, like that. Okay, so just finger tight. Like that. And then you just double check everything. And if you're happy with that, you then open this, undo it. And then you tell Adam or your nurse or your colleague to take that off and let go. Open wide. And then this will go to the lab like that. Okay? So it's essential that this doesn't get bent because this is what the technician will put the cast on to mount it on the articulator. So this needs to go like this in a box. So make sure your nurse doesn't bend it or anything like that. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, we will uh, chat about how to use the articulator study cast on the next tutorial. Thank you, Nikhil. Thank you, Adam.